Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for October 27th to November 8th. Here we are at the 27th. This is what we're expecting the pattern. We still have an upper low or trough here over the Northeast Pacific. We have a ridge here across most, much of Canada and the Western U.S. Also, positive height anomalies here over the North Atlantic. And we have a trough here in the east. Now we're going to talk about the system that's forecast for the East Coast. Now we're going to start down here. This is tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Whoop. All right, we'll say tomorrow morning, 2 a.m. Here's an area of rain. Here's a low pressure system beginning to develop. And then we go um, forward in time. Here's a system now along the east coast. This is this is six, uh, 8 p.m. Friday, and then we go to 2 a.m. Saturday. Here's upper low here. Here's the area of heavy rain, and then we go to 2 p.m. Saturday. Now we have very heavy rain. I think the heaviest rain remains offshore. This is the GFS. And then we look at the Canadian, or not the Canadian, the European. This is 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then we go to 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Here's the areas of heavy rain. And then we go to 8 a.m. on Friday. And then we go to 2 a.m. on Saturday. Here's the upper low here. So it seems like the, um, the European is a little more stronger. This is forecast uh, to bring heavy rain to portions of the Middle Atlantic and the Northeast. Some of the areas in the higher elevations of the Northeast may see snow. Um, the next system will... will affect the northern plains in the Midwest this week and then the Appalachians later in the week. A frontal system will be nearing the Pacific coast. An onshore flow will bring focus of precipitation for the coastal ranges of Cascades this weekend and eventually, to a lesser extent, the northern Rockies. So we're going to go to the weekend. Here's Saturday, 2 a.m., some areas might get snow. Here's the 540 line. And then we look at the Euro the European. Not as much at the same time. Here's a GFS. Here's a European. And then we go forward in time. This is later in the weekend. Here's focus of more heavy rain. I think the 540 line is more to the north. During. This is a warmer system. But we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, back to the period for... October 30th to November 3rd. Pattern remains pretty much the same. Here we have a trough, ridge trough configuration, strong positive height anomalies here. So the models are good agreement. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of at least six degrees above normal. Could be some areas be higher and below normal temperatures here with the anomalies of four to six degrees below normal for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here and for here probability of currents is 35 to 45 percent and then i have above normal precipitation forecast much of this area here and the probability of currents is 45 to 55 percent now um during the next period this will be the fourth to the eighth here we are at the fourth the models are continued uh, to show differences. This is the GFS with a ridge broad trough across much of the area. Whoops. And then we look at the ensembles, pretty much the same, but then as we get further into the period, look where it puts the trough in the west central states, but still the ridge here. Then we look at the other models. This is the, I forget what model this is, European ensembles more towards the east central states ridge here. And then we look at the other models. This is the NAEFS. 
again, it has a trough in the middle of the nation with a above normal heights here and for for along the east coast. So the forecast doesn't change much from yesterday. So for this forecast period, forecast above normal temperatures here and near to above normal in the east. And a forecast anomalies of two to four degrees above normal. Below normal temperatures are forecast here. And a forecast anomalies of four degrees below normal for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation for here and for much of this area. Uh, the probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent and then I have above normal precipitation here and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for October 27th through November 8th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.